Good morning, Kalispell. I hope everybody is doing great today, and I hope everybody had a safe weekend. So today we're going to talk about the relationship between your eyes and your spine. So as an infant, you learn about the relationship between your body parts, between trial and error. Reaching out, sometimes you grab things and make contact with them. And maybe as a child, you remembered the whole eyes, ears, nose, mouth, lips, teeth type thing. And as fast as you could really say it or do anything like that. So anatomical links are a pretty effective way to learn and they change even throughout our lifetime. So to help understand the link between the position of your spine and your optic health, you first must understand how the connection works. So we're gonna talk about the eyes and the brain right now. So the eyes represent a complex part of the CNS or central nervous system, and it's directly connected to the brain. To see the way that we do, your light receives, or your eyes receive light as it hits the photoreceptors in your eyes known as rods and cones. They're actually in the retina of the eyeball. The signals the retina receives are translated to electrical impulses which travel on the optic nerve into the brain's visual cortex. Now the brain-spine connection, we talk about that a lot here at the office. So when the impulses reach your visual cortex, the brain interprets them and uses them to determine how the body should respond. The brain sends the messages down the spinal cord to the rest of your body to create a reaction to what your eyes see. So that's the whole chiropractic thing above, down, inside, out. When you have good posture, the communication your brain sends via your spine, it comes in fast and interrupted. Your brain stays in constant command of your body using the information gathered from each of its five senses, including sight. So now we're gonna talk about the eye to spine connection. Over time, slumped or seated posture can, af can affect the quality between the spinal cord and the brain. This creates a lag between your eyes seeing an object and your brain being able to interpret the image of the object and your body's response to the object. In fact, poor posture can lead to many health issues, which we've talked about quite a bit on here, including slowed down circulation, shallow breathing, and blurred vision. But the, vi the relationship can also go the other way. If you have poor eyesight, you may squint, lean forward, tilt your head into unnatural positions to help see clearer. These movements can create muscle tightness in the shoulders, neck, and head or upper back. Over time, this maladjustment can decrease blood flow and the impulse connection to your eyes. So results of this connection. When you have healthy posture and decent or corrected eyesight, the connection between your spine and your eyes remains strong. When your spine or your eyesight experience problems, it can result in health complications, which can include blurred vision, difficulty focusing the eyes, decreased circulation, which can cause numbness and muscle strength issues, eye strain and fatigue, headaches or the feeling of pressure in your head, head, shoulder, neck, and back pain, can also lead to telemarketer calling me there, and visual deterioration. Attempts to fix one portion of the problem may be successful in the early stages. After your spine and eyes form a long-term unhealthy relationship, you may need to address each cause to re remedy the health issue above. So there's a vast number of issues you can do to help improve the relationship, such as chiropractic care, going into your um, optometrist and actually getting your eyes checked to make sure that they are functioning properly things of that nature so if you guys have any questions or comments feel free shoot them over to us in a message and we'll do our best to get back to you have a great day Kalispell